She was an heir to the throne in her kingdom. She lived a life of luxury ruling her empire. She was a powerful female ruler and no one dare cross her. Long ago, she set sail on a trip overseas when a storm hit and the boat capsized. She was washed up on the shore of a foreign island, a place with miles of beautiful beaches. Stranded here, the beach and surrounding ocean became her new kingdom. Although, she held a darkness within her, for no one came to find her from this faraway land to bring her back to her old life. She began to rust and tarnish, her royal beauty slowly fading. She now resides here on the seaside, protecting her newfound land. Just hope you never come across her island, for she will unleash her darkness onto you. So jumping right into this tutorial, first things first, we are going to be priming our skin with the Angel Veil Primer. It's really great for smoothing everything out. And it is a great base for what we are going in with next, which is the NYX White SFX Cream Paint. This stuff is super blendable and it's very opaque, so I really like using this for a base over my entire face. And since the look we are going for is more on the creepy side, I thought it would be good to kind of pale out the complexion. Then next, going in with the SFX Set Powder. Obviously it is perfect for setting this SFX cream paint, so making sure that it doesn't budge. And now moving on to some contouring, I'm just going in with this NYX blush in the shade Taupe. And I'm just going to begin to sculpt out the cheekbones. And then if you add too much, you can just go over that with a little bit of the white paint again. And then just sculpting out the hairline as well. And then here I'm adding a little bit to the front of the brow area, just going down to the nose. And obviously I don't have eyebrows, so you totally can block your brows for this look or just make it work with your natural brows. And then I'm also just putting that in the outer corner of the eye and then blending this underneath the eye as well. And taking the full throttle shadow quad in explicit, I'm taking the two top shades, so it's a dark brown and then kind of a reddy color. So I mix those two together just to deepen up the contours and just helping to give our face a little bit more of a creepy appearance. And then I'm adding that to the outer corner of the eye as well. And then I am just sculpting out the inner part of the eye with that shadow. Just to add more depth, I wanted the eyes to look kind of sunken in and a little bit rusty looking. Our queen has been on an island for a long time, so she's not going to be looking too hot. And even though this royal queen is looking a little bit rough, she still has to have some kind of a glow. So I'm just taking the gold shade from the Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette, and I'm just placing that on all the high points of the face. And going in with the Prismatic Shadow in Fireball, this is a gorgeous rusty red color. Going along with our rusted theme here, we want the queen to look, you know, like she's old, tarnished, rusty, so those are the kind of colors that we're going for here. And then taking that same shadow and adding it just to the outer part of the face and then above where we did the deep brown contour. And going in with Shanghai Sun, this pigment is perfect for rust, so we are going to be creating rusty tears coming down from the eyes because this queen is sad that nobody ever came to look for her. So we've just been crying rust all these years. So I just took some of the pigment and I mixed it with water just to make it a little bit of a thinner consistency. And then I also just placed some around the eyes and kind of tapped it out with my finger and it gave it a nice rusty kind of grungy look. And then I'm just varying the length of the tiers. We don't want them all to be the same length. So I'm making some shorter, some longer. And then I did three under each eye. And it's totally okay if this looks messy because that's exactly the look that we are going for. And then I am just doing some of those drips coming down from the forehead as well. And now onto the part where we are going to be gluing a lot of things to the face. So since this queen is missing her life of luxury ruling her kingdom and all of her precious jewels and gems, 
she missed that so of course she had to cover herself in some pearls because she wanted to feel fancy again so i just got these from a craft store um yeah so there are a bunch of different sizes and i am just putting those onto the face with some liquid latex and in between some of the pearls i'm going to be gluing on these barnacles that i sculpted so i just took some of this white sculpey clay that you can get at any craft store and I am just breaking off a little piece and then warming it up in my hands. And then I'm slowly kind of just forming this little barnacle looking shape here by just kind of pinching it. And then once you're happy with that shape, you can begin to smooth the edges out a little bit because we want the edges nice and thin for gluing them onto our face because it's going to look better and make it easier too. And I did get these set of sculpting tools from the craft store too. And then I'm just taking this little pointy tool and I'm making a line right across the top with a circle going around that. This part's a little bit hard to see what I'm doing, but you'll be able to see it better once I'm painting it. And then going down the sides, I'm just making some lines because barnacles have lots of little indents and cracks and crevices. And then around the base, I'm just taking out a couple little pieces so it's not like a perfect circle and it has more texture to it. And then I'm just taking this little brush spiky kind of tool. I don't know the names for these sculpting tools, but I'm just going around and making little tiny dots in the barnacle to give it more texture. And then to paint these little guys, I just took the SFX cream paint in white and I added a little bit of black to it to create a gray. And then I'm just taking the waterproof ink liner and I am just going over the lines we created just to add some depth to them. And these totally don't have to be perfect, you can make them a little bit messy looking. And to add a little bit of grunginess to it, I took some of the black paint and just kind of spotted it on really lightly. For the first bit here, I was attaching the barnacles first and then going in with paint, but I realized it was much easier to paint them first, so that's what I did after I did the first few, so that's why these ones aren't painted yet. And then once you have the barnacles, you can just glue on some more pearls surrounding them. And you'll want to do the barnacles in varying shapes and sizes because that's going to make it look more realistic. And I also made a couple starfish out of the same Sculpey clay. This stuff you do have to bake in the oven to set it, it doesn't just air dry. And then I'm just going over the starfish with some fireball shadow just to give it that nice rusty color and some shine. And then just keep gluing. Glue these things on until your fingers fall off. And then I wanted to create a really grungy eye, so I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and I'm placing that on the waterline and then blending it out down below the lashes. Just really kind of smudging that on. Doesn't have to be too tidy. And then taking the primal color in hot black, I am just taking that with a bit of a fluffier brush and then I'm really starting to smoke it out here and then this is where you can really get grungy with it. So I did take this pretty far down. And then some of the tears kind of got lost so I just went back over with some of the pigment. And then to really grunge it up even more, I'm taking more of the primal color and I'm placing that in areas along the hairline. And then I decided to deepen up the contour as well to make our queen look extra creepy. And just keep gluing on those pearls and those barnacles until you are satisfied. I stuck mainly to gluing them to my forehead and then kind of on like the cheekbone area. But 
I'm switching to the neck here for a second just to take a break from gluing things. I'm just taking more of the NYX blush in taupe and I'm just beginning to shade the neck. So I'm starting at the top and then just blending it down so it gives a soft gradient. And then over top of that I'm taking more of the fireball shadow just to deepen it up a little bit and add some shine. And then for liner I used the Ink Waterproof Liner. This was my first time using this stuff and it's amazing. It is so, so pigmented and it goes on really smoothly so I definitely recommend this stuff if you haven't tried it. And I'm just doing a very simple, very basic liner. And then don't forget to add mascara, I'm just using the NYX XXL mascara, applying that to the top and bottom lashes. And using more of the fireball shadow, I am just applying that to the lips. That's going to be the base for our grungy lip look, and then here I'm going in with the liquid suede and alien, and I'm just placing that at the inner part of the lips and blending it outwards just to give a really creepy aspect to the lips. And then I placed a little bit of the gold highlighter from the Strobe of Genius palette over top just to give a little bit of shine. It took me a couple steps to get these lips just how I wanted. And one more thing, I'm taking more Fireball Shadow, it's one of the stars of this look, and just adding that onto the top lip. And then for more of our rusty drips, we are just using the same Shanghai pigment and just doing this the exact same way we did it on the face. And I'm just taking more of that same pigment and I'm just kind of dotting it on random areas with my fingers just to grunge it up a little bit more. And to darken it up, I'm just taking more of that brown shadow we used from that shadow quad. And that's just going to add a little bit more depth to the look. And then adding on some even more pigment. I added this on wet, so it really kind of grunges it up. So for this look, since she is a queen, I wanted her to have pretty aspects such as the pearls, but then also things to show that she's been, you know, she's worn out from being on this island for so long. Like the rust and then, you know, the barnacles that are growing on her. And then for some finishing touches on the lips, I just went in and added some of the tinier pearls. And then a couple of my little starfish guys I attached to my chest. And here I'm doing a little bit of paint splattering with some black paint. This just adds a really, really nice texture to the look. So I'm just going over that with my finger really lightly. And here I am adding some bronze and gold glitters over top of the glitter primer. I just, I can't do a look without adding glitter. Plus, you know, she's a queen. She's got to have a little bit of glitz and glam to her. And then I'm adding some of that same glitter on the neck and chest as well, just in really random areas. And then just pop on your favorite lashes. And going in with the SFX cream color in black, I decided to add some to the top of the neck just to really add some depth there, just to darken the look up a little bit more. And then finishing off with a long lasting setting spray, our look is now complete. Just need to add the contacts and the wig and we are good to go. So our sea queen look is now complete. You are free to rule your kingdom of beaches and beautiful oceans. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys think that I deserve to move on to the next round of the Face Awards, I really need your help. Voting is open from May 19th until May 26th at faceawards.com. You can vote up to three times a day per email address. I will have the link to the voting down in the description box below. So make sure to go check that out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you all for your support and your love, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.